All right, hi everybody. It is Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. Got the light shining on me. It is time for the first review. Now, listen, people. People, I saw this one guy said, "Oh, nigga, not uh, giving up on it. You gotta go hard. You know, complaining." Some douchebag saying that, and I'll reiterate it. I am continually re reading it. Fairy tale. I'm going to continue reading it. It's just I'm not going to review it. So shut the fuck up, man. Back the fuck up, you bunch of cock dingleberries. But enough of that. It's time. It's time. Four. Na Natsu no Taizai. In other words, calling it in English, Seven Deadly Sins. First chapter review. Chapter 35, let's go. Now, this um, series, I, I will say, I gotta, gotta tell you guys the, the whole synopsis first. Okay, pretty much what it is, is about this group of evil knights who, you know, supposedly evil knights, who um, uh, conspired to overthrow the kingdom of Britannia. <laughs> were said to have been eradicated by the Holy Knights, although some claim that they still live. Ten years later, the Holy Knights stage a coup d'etat and assassinate, and assassinate the king, becoming the new tyrannical rulers of the kingdom. Elizabeth, the king's only daughter, sets out on a journey to find the seven deadly sins and to enlist their help in taking back the kingdom. So yeah, that's... That's the story. That's the whole gist of the series. And she, at the moment in this series, she's a she's met up with um, four of the Seven Deadly Sins knights. And those are Wrath, Greed, Sloth, and Envy. Envy, is, her, name is, is, her name is Diana, and she's supposedly a giant. Of course, in this, in the, where the story is now, she's not a giant. King is sloth. He, he's this little kid who turns into like a big fat guy who's got a spear. He get uses. He's known as the fairy king. Bon. Oh my god, this guy Bon. Holy shit, this motherfucker is crazy, crazy. Um, he is supposedly immortal, and he is greed, and he, he's crazy. And, of course, you got Wrath, uh, known as Meliodas. Okay, I'm going to probably pronounce that name for, like, God knows how long. I'm going to pronounce that name from here to Timbuktu. But Meliodas, and he's the captain of the Seven Deadly Sins, uh, and he's just uber fucking powerful. Just insane. So, yeah, let's get into this chapter, chapter 35, review... Um, this one was called, I should not even see the title for this one. Oh yeah, Robbed Meliodas. This starts off with, they're, they're, they're going through this, this tournament. And Diana's in the tournament. There's this old guy in the tournament. Um, King's already been eliminated from the tournament. And all that stuff's going on. And, uh, you know, one of the Holy Knights, well actually, yeah, one of the Holy Knights is in the tournament as well. So they supposedly will might one of them is gonna fight them later on in, in this in this tournament. And the, supposedly the tournament is they're winning the prize of um this weapon that they're trying to win for Diana. Because Diana's gonna get that weapon and she's gonna use it uh on their journey. And so on and so forth. So yeah that's what this tournament's about. And basically it's it's this fight between Meliodas and uh, Bond. Oh my god. And they got them both down. And this fight was insane. Oh my god. This fight was crazy. Like really fucking crazy. Because what happened was Bond. This guy. And now Bond looks a little bit. I'm not going to say he's complete. But he looks a little bit like Eric from True Blood. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. He's got that swagger. He's got that 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 kind of, you know, swagger. And I mean, he's immortal. Come on. You know, Eric in, in True Blood is, is a vampire as well. So, 
you know, at least from a, my... I don't really know about Troop about Troop Blood. My brother knows all about Troop Blood, so, yeah, you know. Anyway, he's fighting uh, Meliodas, and they're both down, and, um... And, you know, Meliodas is like, Bass, you've really done it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous! Uh, and I guess the the art style... That's another thing about the art style of this show. It's sort of Dragon Ball Z-ish. It, it kind of is. It kind of is. In, in a way, it feels like Dragon Ball Z. And, you know... You know, Bond gets up and he's ready to go, saying, "You know, he got the the Holy Knight saying, it, it, uh, the rumor is true that he really is immortal, because uh, all his wounds healed without a trace." And uh, they're going at it, you know, Bond and, and Melodos. Bond's beating the shit out of him, pushing him to the ground, uh, and he's so crazy. I think people like these guys are insane. This is more of a death match than than a fight. Um. <laughs> And Diana's like, Captain, what are you doing? You don't let Bond defeat you. And like I said before, the artwork is kind of Dragon Ball Z. It, it's got that, um, if you look at the characters, you could see it. You could see the influence of Dragon Ball Z a little bit. It's not completely, but it's a little bit there. So Bond's just <laughs> saying, his my body is light as a feather. You know, and he fucking melted us out of nowhere, punches him in the face, and takes out one of um, uh, Bond's t teeth. I was like, oh my god. And, and he's like, saying, just kidding. You know, he still has it to where grew, grew back. And it just seems like uh, Diana's saying to, hey, King, and King's like there, and he says, yeah. Um, that little by little, the captain can't keep up with Bond's moves. That's to suggest something. That something has occurred that it it's it's preventing it's preventing Melodos from from Meliodas from really you know keeping up with Bond and says is the captain losing his stamina? Um, that Bond and he's like saying going out with saying that Bond is immortal. The captain should be getting worn out this quickly. Then why they started off roughly at the same speed? Uh, just when Captain started to get sluggish, Bond suddenly became more agile, which is saying that. He has this ability bond called Snatch. And apparently this ability, not only does it steal physical objects, but it can also steal physical abilities. So while Melodos was being sluggish, Bond was getting really quick and agile. And all this other shit. So, obviously, he's added to his own. He's robbed him of his physical abilities. And it just, he's go back and forth. And he gets punched the hell out of Bond. And Bond, uh, Melodos grabs Bond's arm and shit. It was just intense action. And, 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 uh, Melodos bashed Bond to the ground. And says, what power? You know, and then Bond just, you know, he's, Bond's a fucking beast, man. This guy, you can't take him down. It's like, it was so insane, this chapter. You just, war blow for blow, just hang with Melodos and just take, just be the shit out of him. Like, damn. And then, and then he's like, this is scene. Oh my God, this is the thumbnail. This screams thumbnail. He's just bending backwards. It's like, oh, it says physical hunt. I was like, whoa, whoa. Like, what's going on here? Bond, man! You're just too OP! And he's, like, saying, the feeling of Captain's good stuff coursing through me, this ecstasy. And he's, like, um... And then, uh, he then this time, he steals his strength. Before he stealed his stamina, this time he steals his strength. Uh, and he's, like, wondering how, how, what the Captain's power added to mine would be, like, let me test it out. And instead, what happens? They they converge their fists, and Melodos breaks Bond's head, like, in half, like, and I'm like, oh, man. This was just such a crazy chapter. And no one, and, and someone was asking this to me. I, I should bring this up in this review, even though I shouldn't. They were at Beast Mode. He was asking, like, does popul, not Beast Mode, Devil's Bitch 1000, does popularity come into play? when I decide to review a manga or an anime. Not really. 
And I'll tell you why. If it interests me to a point where I like, wow, 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 this looks pretty crazy. Let me start looking at this more accurately and see if, if it really interests me to a point where I got to say, oh, wow, I got to start doing this. This is, oh, this is a crazy show. I love the plot. Then, that, that's what really points to plot, characters, and maybe the artwork. That's what it really comes down to for me, not popularity. He breaks his fist and he punches him in the, in the, in the abdomen bod of uh, Metal Dust does. I was like, yo! And he's bleeding and shit. I was like, what? And, and then he pushes bod all the way. Uh... Uh, bond to the edge of the fucking ring, and he's like, and he's like, you gotta be kidding me! Just how Bond was your straight captain. I've decided, <laughs> and and he say, and Bellos is like, oh, you decided to give up? Uh, just get out of the stage. It's like it doesn't look like we could simply end this fight by stealing a bit of speed and strength here and there. So I'll take it all. And then Bond just punches the shit out of Bond, and Diana's like, end it now, here now. She wants to hear him to end it here and now. Uh, and then King was like saying that, oh, rather, um, two things are going to give. One, uh, Meldos is going to beat the shit out of Bond and he gets thrown out of the ring. Or Bond's going to steal his abilities. All of it. To a point. And what uh, happened was, and he's like saying, that was delicious, Captain. He stole... All of the strength from uh, uh, Meldos Bond. And he's like saying, the sneering greed, the fallen rat, this is the end. And it says, to continue the next chapter, 36, flickering moments. And on the side it says, immortality and snatch. Bond's overwhelming powers send shivers. Man, that was, that was such a fucking awesome chapter. Um... Give this one, seeing as how this is this is still my first chapter I'm reviewing of this show, I'm only going to give this a four and a half. I should give this a five, but I'm only going to give it four and a half just because it's my first review. Um, this show is good. Let me tell you right now. It is really good. Um, it's got a lot of intense action. Good plot. Um, and it just grabs me. You know, and all I should mention, there's a talking pig. Now, you probably say, yeah, but fairy tale's a talking cat. Well, yeah, that's true, but it's just one. Well, there's two talking pigs, but, but, they're not stupid. They're not stupid. And, and unlike the others, yeah, the talking pig got his ass kicked at one point. So, yeah, there's that to add as well. Uh, but for Shonen, this is pretty surprising because I didn't even think this show was going to be as good as it was. Or as violent as it was. You know, it was a big surprise. And I think the real reason why I wanted to start reviewing this show was because it was similar to DBZ in the artwork, but more on the plot. That's what really grabbed me. It was the story. It was the story. The story really grabbed me because I'm thinking, wow, you got these evil seven deadly sins who turn out to be the good guys in a way. And you have the holy knights who actually, they're not doing so well. They're, 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 they're the evil guys. They're the real evil ones. And they're the ones corrupting the, the, the kingdom and doing all these evil deeds to people. And then like, you know, trust me when I say this, people, stick with this series. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. You'll be surprised. You'll be very surprised how this show goes. But I thought this was a great chapter. Oh man, Bond. This guy is fucking ridiculous. He's immortal. He steals. Yeah, not only does he steal objects. He steals abilities. That's insane. Ah, oh, unbelievable. And it doesn't matter how much he steals. He can steal all of your strength or all of your stamina. It's like, Jesus Christ, how do you beat this guy? It's nearly impossible. Oh, man. And uh, I believe I said this. The next chapter is called... Um, what did I say this is called? Oh, yeah, Flickering Moment. That's the next chapter. That's what it's called. The next chapter is called. Now, um, you know...
you know, this is just crazy show, man. This show is is insane. I mean, if, if you guys read read the the previous chapters from this one, the shit that goes down is like, oh my god, it's just insane, it's insane. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the one who told me about this was Hockey, oh, fellow, Times of Darkness, but he's I knew about this show for beforehand, but I never went ahead and continued reading it. No, I didn't, I didn't continue reading it because I didn't know if it was weekly or not, so it didn't grab me. But then when I took a look at it again, I was like, oh, oh, so let me, let me read this show. Let me, let me check out what this shit's about. And I took a look and I was like, wow, wow, wow. Uh, I will say this, the mo the, and I, this is the last thing I want to say because this is getting a long review. This is my first time reviewing the show, reviewing this manga, um, chapter review. The whole notion of seven deadly sins in this show, in this manga, I haven't read a, ma a lot of manga or read a watched anime that no that brings up the point of seven deadly sins. The only one I can, can con conjure up to say was Fumakum's Brotherhood, Fumakum's. They don't have abilities like these guys though, though. And if you look at Bon, he kind of looks like Greed from the Alchemist. In a way. They got the same, you know, stature and shit. So, but the only difference is Bon. I, I think Bon. I think Bon is a little bit cooler. He's a little bit cooler than Greed. Ah, a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. So, yeah, there's that as well. But, yeah, you know, let's go with this, people. Bankai 922, new series. The review, I'm, I'm going to call it the Japanese title. And then, you know, uh, I'll put, like, in the description the English title. Uh, that's how I'm going to do it. I'll do it with Japanese. So, yeah, I'm Bankai 922. See you guys later. Na Natsu no Taizai. Seven Deadly Sins, people. This shit is gold. It's gold. It's gold. Every Monday. Stay tuned for a review every Monday. You know how it is. You know how it is. Bonka Night 22. And I will see you guys later.